One issue that we've seen a lot here at Beacon is that when you install a new video card driver or you plug in a new audio device or even a new monitor, uh, sometimes Windows would set your default devices to be different than what we recommend or what it should be set as. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what we've implemented in the Beacon app in order to make this easier for you. Let's get started. So as you can see here right now, I'll show you the previous process that you would have to do to change these default devices back. So before you would have to open up your control panel and go to sound, which would bring up this sound panel here. And then what you would have to do is you would have to determine what one would be your default device. So typically for default device, what we would set is we would set the system device beacon mix crate as the default device. And then for the default communication device, we would choose chat. And then for recording device, Similarly, we would set voice chat mic as the default for both. What we've done in the Beacon app is we've set it so you can set these directly in applications. So now you click the drop down and you select the one that you want to set for that particular device, whether it be the recording default device or the recording default communication device or the playback default device or playback default communication device. What we've also implemented in app is the ability for our app to constantly change this back whenever Windows decides to change it. The use case for this would be if you ever change uh, monitors or if you update your video card driver and Windows sets a different device as the default, our app will change it back. So I have that setting enabled right now. It's this one right here that says the automatic Windows default device reset. And you'll notice that if I go here and I change my default communication device to anything, let's just say audience mix, that the app will just change it back. 